resolved. Hundreds of Milwaukee public school students started this new year online. One mom says she even moved her children into the district because of that virtual option. New at 10, she's telling our Jessica Maduker her kids are already falling behind. I spoke with a parent who is just frustrated with the virtual learning option. She tells me her kids have already missed a few days of school because there was no teacher. Jennifer switched her children from a charter school to MPS because MPS offered a virtual learning option. But on day one, she says nobody showed up except her kids. The classroom had no content in it, so there weren't learning modules. There wasn't um, announcements about when class was supposed to happen that day. She has a first and fourth grader. This morning, her first grader's teacher showed up. But as for her fourth grader, there's still no teacher in the class as of this morning. The Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction requires students to complete nearly 1100 hours of direct pupil instruction for grades one through six. As to who's monitoring those hours, a spokesperson told us and it depends on the design of the program. MPS has nearly 1600 students enrolled in virtual learning this semester. The district's website states that students in K-4 through 5th grade get 60 minutes per day of face-to-face -face instruction with a teacher. The rest of the time, students can work at their own pace on their own schedule with access to an on-demand teacher 12 hours a day. But Jennifer isn't sure that's effective. It doesn't make sense that the classrooms aren't staffed with teachers before class starts. It doesn't make sense that they didn't have, you know, even an administrative staff person maybe go through and check and make sure those classes had content in them. It doesn't make sense that um, my login information for my children to get to their classroom was inside the classroom that I had to log into to see their login name and password. An MPS has acknowledged that this year's virtual learning program is entirely different than last year's and that they're working through some challenges. Reporting from District Headquarters, Jessica Maduker, Team J4 News.